Okay, newbie here XYZ, this right here is for you. I saw your question on Reddit and I really like it. Because for this infinite series, you see that on the top, it looks like it's just always 3, right? So this is why I did first. Okay, so I just thought that the top is just always 3 and then I look at the bottom, 4, 10, 25, and I was trying to find a pattern. And let's do the usual thing. Do we just add? Well, that's plus 6. But that doesn't work. 10 plus 6 is 16, not 25. Hmm. So how else can we go from 4 to 10? I got creative a little bit. Maybe we can multiply this by 2 and add 2 to it. Yeah? But that doesn't work because 10 times 2 is 20. And then plus 2, you get 22. That's not 25. I'm close. Well, maybe add 5, but that's... Eh, I don't think so. But thankfully, I remember that to take a look at the tag, this is a pre-calculus question, and this is the infinite sum, right? Infinite geometry, infinite series, and pre-calculus. Whenever you have an infinite series, most likely you're just working with the infinite geometry series. So, our first goal is to find the common ratio, and I think this question is so creative because the numerators are just three, but it's also pretty mean because. Not only we only have the first three terms, but all of this right here are just threes. By the way, let's go ahead and find the common ratio first. And to do so, we can pick this term and divide it by that. So let's go ahead and just do 3 over 10. That's ready as fraction. Divided by 3 over 4. And to divide, you can just look at this term, 3 over 10, times the reciprocal of that, which is 4 over 3. This and that cancel, divided by 2, divided by 2, so you get 2 over 5. But you also have to make sure that this is indeed the common ratio. And to do so, you do this divided by that. Just pick a term and divide it by the previous. So R, this right here is 3 over 25, divided by 3 over 10. Looks like we have 3 over 25 times the reciprocal of that, which is 10 over 3, and the 3 cancels out. All right, reduce. Divided by 5, we get 2 on the top. Divided by 5 on the bottom, we get 5. So 2 over 5. So yes, this is indeed the common ratio. So just for fun, let's figure out what the next term is. We will have to do 3 over 25 times the common ratio, which is 2 over 5. And if you work that out, cannot reduce anymore. So you have this times that, which is 6, and this times that is 125. So the next term that you will have to add is 6 over 125. And as I said earlier, I think this is a pretty, well, depends on what you want to say, pretty creative question or a pretty mean question. So up to you. So right here, this is what we are going to do. All we have to do for an infinite geometry series is that notice the absolute value of R is less than 1. So I just say since the absolute value of R, which is the absolute value of 2 over 5, that is less than 1. So this thing converges and we can figure this out. I'll just write this down 3 over 4 plus 3 over 10 plus 3 over 25 plus dot 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 this is equal to you start with the first term which is 3 over 4 do it on the top divided by 1 minus the common ratio which is 2 over 5 so the formula that I'm using is the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio common ratio and now we just have to work this out and we can be happy 1 minus 2 over 5 it's the same as 5 over 5 minus that which is uh, 3 over 5 so this right here is 3 over 4 let me let me do this for you guys on the top is 3 over 4 and then we are dividing by the bottom which is 3 over 5 and then 
do the thing that we did. Take that 3 over 4 times the reciprocal of this, which we have 5 on the top, 3 on the bottom, and the 3 cancels out again. Yeah, very, very cool numbers. So final answer, 5 over 4. Yeah, just like that.